Hi everyone, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Today you join me back in London. I seem to be spending all of my time in London recently. But either way, today I am at the HRO and Ferrari Service Centre here in London to check out inside of their workshop. Now this is an extremely uh, special opportunity obviously because most of the time it's private but it's a uh, kind of an open day here this morning. Um, and I've been invited along to have a look. As you've probably seen behind me, we've got a very nice 8 12 This is in fact their demo car, which is very cool. So I think we should go have a look at that right now. Here we are then, the 812 Super Fast. This thing is an absolute weapon. 789 brake horsepower from a screaming 6.5 litre V12. And the spec on this one is out of this world. Finished in TDF blue, which you can't really make out on this very dull and gloomy day here in London. We've got the red contrast calipers and the all-important TDF wheels. I absolutely love this car. And this, I think, is a very good sign of what's gonna be inside. Oh my god, <laughs> where do I even start? Okay, so F40 GT, one of six in the world in the Brummel livery. This thing is ridiculous. Oh my god, check that out. Next to that we've got not just one TDF, but two. This one belonging to Gordon Ramsay. We've also got his LaFerrari over there as well, and plenty of other goodies, <laughs> which I am currently drooling over massively. There is a grand total of four laps here today, two coupes and two apertas. I'd be a bit stupid not to touch on it. Uh, obviously the LaFerrari 6.3 litre V12, along with the hybrid curve system, making a total power output of 950 horsepower. Triple layer yellow is probably one of the nicest Ferrari colours, um, and certainly one of the most expensive, <laughs> I think. This one is actually not just triple layer. You can see here, very subtle at the back, we've got the racing livery, which is an option on the aperta. We'll move around to the front, it's a bit more obvious. See going down the front towards the nose cone as well. Very, very nice option um, on the aperture. It's also got some yellow pin which I'm not sure um, if they came from factory or if they've been done after market. But either way, they look very nice and they go well with the interior as well because we've got the yellow piping all around. So yeah, that one's very nice. Moving over to the next one. This is Rosso Corsa uh, with the satin black wheels, carbon center caps and red calipers. This is another aperta, not that you can really tell from this angle. One way you can tell is that little extra vent there. And you can't tell if this one has the racing livery. Nope, it doesn't. Very classic spec, actually. One thing I have noticed is seeing as the car is raised up and I'm kind of at eye height. Check out this carbon rear bumper and rear diffuser. Also, these little bits are active aero, along with the spoiler up there, which I can actually show you on this lap over here. So rather annoyingly, it is down at the moment. We've got one of the technicians here to put it up for me, which is this little bit underneath here. When you brake hard, if you're on track or whatever, it actually raises up as a kind of air brake. God, that made me jump. Why that made me jump? <laughs> Check that out now. That is serious. It's the first time I've actually seen a LaFerrari with that up before. Um, but yeah, that is wicked. Now the fourth and final lap is one which I've touched on already. Of course, Gordon Ramsay's one. Absolute stunning spec. First time I've seen it, and first time I've seen his TDF as well, so very cool to see both of his cars there. Well, two of his cars, he's got more cars. Um, but yeah, absolute beast. Check out the spec on this F12, finished in, I believe, Bianco Italia Apaco. Apaco meaning matte. But um, oh, it, I've never seen anything like it. I presume this must have cost a hell of a lot when specking the car, but it looks absolutely stunning. So at this point you might be wondering what I'm actually doing here at HRO in Ferrari today, but it's actually kind of a private open day um, where a select few, me being one of the lucky few, uh, to come along um, and check out the workshop, but also their new Ferrari Classiche section. And like I said, I'm one of the lucky few that's been invited, so huge thank you to HRO and Ferrari for the invite to come and have a look at this absolute treasure trove. I've been here probably for about an hour or so, and I'm still trying to lift my jaw up off the floor. This place <laughs> is incredible. <laughs> The 
up at the end of the workshop, we've got two very special 488s. Now, starting with the white one, which is actually for sale with HRO in. And at first glance, it does look quite subtle, but when you get into some of the details, it really is quite a special example. So starting off with the paint, this is Bianco Liana, which is a very, very pearlescent paint. If I zoom in, you might be able to get some of the effect. Uh, extremely special order paint, which not many Ferraris are fitted with. And then to contrast that, we've got all the blue details. So on the off of the wheels, you see here in a very nice satin or matte blue. They look a lot more blue on camera than they do in real life. <laughs> uh, we've also got the blue painted bits around here, but a large proportion of the blue bits are actually carbon. I'm not sure if you can make that out. That's carbon. All of the interior is pretty much carbon. Now the second one here is actually a 70th edition uh, 488. As you can see, finished in Rosso coarse metallic, but it does have the NART stripe, which you can see go along the centre of the car. But seeing as this one is a 70th edition, it does have a lot of custom uh, one-off options on it, which I'm going to run through now. So, straight off the bat, painted shields. Very, very nice and classy option, uh, which again, not many cars have. Got the historic livery going with the NART stripe. We've obviously got number 18 on the door there. I presume that number 18 was a very uh, famous historic Ferrari race car. But if I move on into the inside, we can see we've got some very interesting seats. I think they're Alcantara, but they don't really look it. But yeah, very, very different indeed. But go around to the driver's side, we can see that normally all of that red there is normally carbon. But yeah, it does look very different <laughs> in red. One other thing I've just noticed as well is the uh, NART stripe of the exterior finish on the central bridge there, which is pretty cool as well. Uh, but yeah, very, very special car. So yeah, as you can tell, I'm really struggling not to talk about every single car in here. There is such an array of cars. We've got LaFerraris behind me. Uh, we've got BBs down there. We've got an F40. Uh, two F40s, actually. Uh, it, it's, it's heaven. For a Ferrari guy, it is absolute heaven. Unfortunately, that was all we've got time for in today's video. But once again, a huge thank you to HRO and Ferrari for the invite to come and check out this absolutely breathtaking place. Some of the cars in here, as you've seen, are just incredible. But yeah, I'll leave HRO's Instagram details in the description down below for you guys to go check out if you don't follow them already. But yeah, like I said, that's all we've got time for in today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, then make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures coming soon.